New Blood Outdoors, Cody Signal, Jeremy Jackson, Jordan Carter, Daniel Schenberger, Daniel Compton, K.R. Woodward, John Wood, utilizing products, Buck Creek Sense, Creek Water Outdoors, Chairs Custom Lures, Jack Calls, Ninja Bass Co. Time CBD Deer Track, GameStick LLC, Tactical, Trophy Tree Stands, Zeus Broadheads, Thompson Custom Rollers, What's up, you guys? Welcome to New Blood Outdoors. Still kicking it on season one. This time we're rocking episode three. This time we're going to sit here and hold off on a little bit of the boom and the stick and strings. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do, Cody? Make it a little bit of wetness. Well, I tell you what, I got stuck doing a little bit of bass fishing. Thought you was working. I was. I was working on bass fishing. But I started out with a fan favorite, Mr. Pinky from Jair's Custom Lures. You can check the website out on the bottom of the screen here. Let's check out the action. Jeremy Jackson, New Blood Outdoors here. As you can tell, very windy. Today, Tuesday. Is it going to be a Jair's kind of Tuesday? I don't believe we're going to go with the New Blood lure because that's for warm weather. But yet it's still early. We're going to go ahead and tie on. One of the fan favorites, Mr. Pinky. Stay tuned, it's got a lot of action. Got Jerry's custom lure on here, baby. son what a hold got that right there on the Jair's custom lure don't even get mad ninja bass code yesterday told you it's a fan favorite guys mr. pinky Jair's lures yours today guys boom son thought you had work to do. Man, I tell you what, when I came home and told y'all my wrist and my shoulder was hurting, uh -huh. it was because it was in a cast, all right? Yeah, you fell asleep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, no, I couldn't fall asleep. The fish were just cranking. I mean, I was just tearing them up. I was ripping lips, tight lines, consistently, constantly with Mr. Pinky from Jerry's Custom Lures. I was sitting there having that crank. I'd sit there and twitch it three or four times, let it suspend back up at about two foot, elevation mm -hmm. bobby that down about eight foot let it crank back up and it was just a slow nibble if you look at that fish um it wasn't a real aggressive trigger you could tell that that fish just was barely moving that bait out of its way and i set the hook i barely caught him in the fatty portion of his lip mm -hmm. um i was lucky to land that fish but i landed several more after it that was my largest one of the day. That was a good one. But then, I went ahead and changed up a little bit. And I showed what I could do with the, with the crankbaits. So then I went ahead and pulled out the, the new Ninja, Ninja Basco. <clears throat> 
These lizards in cold water temperatures with a 3 out Gamagatsu EWB hook, weightless. That way that, that lizard or that worm or that crawdad or whatever you're using, soft plastic, is just sitting there self-suspending and it's moving slow. And those twitches, you'll get a lot more movement out of it mm -hmm. and a lot more finesse. And it'll, it'll, it'll actually move a lot more slow. You can sit here and look at, I'm just twitching the rod three, four times and then just letting it. And the bite wasn't real aggressive. It was a real slow bite. It was still cold out. Yes. Yeah. But I was tearing them up. And as you can tell, some of the fish were light colored, some of the fish were dark colored. It was a great instance, but I tell you what, I was slaying them on this lizard and watch how many fish I was catching off of this lizard and it still looks brand new. Mm. Check uh, it out. That's the quality from Ninja Basco. Not a big one, but it's a Ninja Basco. Gotcha, baby. Pretty fish off that Ninja Bass coat. Gonna get you some, baby. Just getting started. Boom, son. Jag calls. As my father taught me and his father taught him, hunting has always been an important part of my life. There is no better feeling than sitting in the woods listening to the peaceful music nature provides while waiting for the right moment to strike their first call. www.jagcalls.com for all your spring gobbler needs. Whether it's your mouth calls, signature series, final draw, they also have the double read which is good for the beginners, triple read for these so-called experts. Or you can slide on over and check out their pot calls from crystal, glass, slate, copper, as well as several other options. You can also inquire about special custom orders, shortened box calls, your push and pin call, don't forget about those nice scratch boxes to reach out there for them long distances. Come the fall season, you have your deer grunts and your rattling horns. And don't forget about that Jag swag. Why the fancy colors? Autism awareness. Jag Calls is implementing a new series of three pot calls that you get to choose from. Autism awareness is a real thing here in America. What better way 
than to show your support than to have these calls in your turkey vest. So if you're looking to bring in that spring gobbler with a call that's a little special to you, head on over to www.jagcalls.com. Well, that was me pulling out the Gamagatsu 3 out with that Ninja Basco. Caught 17 fish off that plastic lizard. No ripping of the legs, no ripping of the arms, no ripping at the head where the where where the where the eye hook is 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 penetrating through the 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 mouth of the lizard. Um, these lures that we're using for Ninja Basco are are fine quality. Uh, go check them out. The website's on the bottom of the screen, and I tell you what, you won't be disappointed. Um, no. Not, not by any means. When I threw the Jairus Custom Lures, Mr. Pinky on there, it was the first lure I threw on there. It was the last crank I threw on there. I took the crank off. I threw the, the lizard on there. Mm -hmm. I didn't change baits. Um, I spent a little over an hour, caught over 20 fish. Um, the largest one came off Jairus, but the, qua uh, the quantity of fish came off Ninja Basco. It's that finesse. Um, and, you know, here again. The jairs, I was twitching it three, four times, letting it suspend up, bringing it down, doing the same thing. With the lizard, I was sitting there letting it hit the ground. I'd drag it across, pop it up, do the same thing, let it suspend. Wasn't real, real hard, aggressive bites. It was, I think I got something, you'd feel the twitch, you'd have to set the hook. Mm -hmm. um, yep. If you look back at those fish, there wasn't a lot of aggressive hook sets, which, you know, leads me to great lures. I mean, it was cold water, and these quality lures were making the fish bite. So, I hope y'all enjoyed episode three, season one of New Blood Outdoors. We've got a lot more to come. And that's Cody Signor. Jeremy Jackson. Till next time, y'all be good. New Blood Outdoors, Cody Signor, Jeremy Jackson, Jordan Carter, Daniel Schenberger, Daniel Compton, K.R. Woodward, John Wood, utilizing products, Buck Creek Scents, Creek Water Outdoors, Chairs Custom Lures, Jack Calls, Ninja Basco, Time CBD Deer Track, Gamestead LLC, Tacky King, Trophy Tree Stands, Zeus Broadheads, Thompson Custom Lures.